Recently, during an interview, music artist Ariana Grande admitted to something that is extremely alarming. Watch this. Oh my God, I wish I brought them. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> what are you just walking around set looking to do readings Every for people? day. No, no, they come to me. Oh, interesting. They come to me. You are a witch? I am indeed. Hmm. The witchiest witch. Something happened recently that I actually couldn't wrap my head around. <laughs> I need to remember it. I need to remember it. To be fair, you couldn't wrap your head around it. So. It was the witchiest thing. You all heard it for yourself. Ariana Grande confessed that she's in covenant with the prince of this world. However, I'm not surprised because throughout her career, she has identified herself as a person who associates darkness in her music and videos. In one of her songs, she called the most high a woman and noticed she's sitting on top of the earth. See, when artists exchange their souls, the prince of the world elevates them to the top of the world. See, throughout Ariana Grande's career, she has been using her influence to lead her fans into bondage. Now take a look at what she's sitting inside of. This is a common sign when a person is in alignment with the prince of this world. Take a look at Jay-Z. Take a look at Kanye West. Notice their hand gesture resembles Ariana Grande's hand gesture. And also, it resembles the image that's in the background. Ariana Grande, she admitted that she associates manipulation, mind control. She also used tactics that leads people into trances and she includes it in her music. This is why fans are having out of body experiences and they are going into trances and so forth when they come into agreement with these artists music. And I guarantee you these fans, they were just going to their concerts to have a good time. But when they made it home, they couldn't even remember ever attending the concert because something took control of their mind. See, at the end of the day, the prince of the world, he doesn't want your money and he doesn't want your house. There's one thing that he's after and that's your soul. Matter of fact, these artists are not performing on stages. This is their altar. This is where they sacrifice to the prince of the world. And if you come into agreement with them, you are coming into agreement with darkness. In order to overcome this, you must separate yourself from the unfruitful works of darkness. Watch and pray and be not deceived. God bless you.